Willeman Group was awarded the prestigious terminal construction project for APM terminals in the port of Tangier, Morocco. Within two years, Willeman transformed a terrain of 60 hectare to one of the world's most technological advanced platforms. A vast and complicated network of over 1,000 km of underground mains, service lines, cables and wires were meticulously weaved around the massive concrete foundations of the largest ship-to-shore and container handling equipment available. The site has been designed to fit the functionality of the three main equipment ordered and installed by APMT. The 12 ship-to-shore cranes are the main actors of the site and installed on the quay to load and unload the container vessels. The shuttle carriers transport the containers between the quay area and the transfer zones of the container stacking areas. ARMGs are installed in the container stacking areas to pick up the containers from the zones where containers are deposited by the shuttle carriers and stack them in the stacking zones up to 5 container levels high. All control and monitoring functions are done from the administrative building. All monitoring is done via a vast underground double network of electric and fiber optic cables which needed to be meticulously weaved around the main underground structures such as foundations, piles, sewer pipes and water lines. Thousands of truckloads and about 1 million tons of granular material was needed to reach the final level of the terrain. In addition, self-discharging vessels sailed from Norway and Scotland delivered 90,000 tons of crushed rocks at a time. The container stacking cranes are mounted on 14 km rails and need solid concrete foundation beams. A fast construction method for these inverse T-shaped beams was crucial as many activities followed this activity. Therefore Willeman imported four units of 20 meter customized steel formwork for a precise 80 meter daily pouring production. A total of 70 tons of armed concrete was proceeded for these foundations. To obtain a perfect level set of foundation beams for the stacking cranes, Willeman and its partners designed it a patented, custom-built, laser-guided concrete grinder and core drilling wagon. This way, rails could be mounted straight on the prepared surface of concrete beam without using traditional and time-consuming groove leveling methods. After welding the individual units to one continuous rail, they are bolted to the foundation beams and checked on verticality and parallelism per stacking zone. The K area needed to be suitable to carry 12 superposed Panamax rail mounted ship to shore cranes of about 3000 tons. The landside rail beam is connected and mounted on a row of 414 armed concrete foundation piles with a diameter of 135 and a length of 26 meter. Drilling rings were operational 24 7, drilling and excavating the boreholes up to 7.5 meter into the underground bedrock. Every delivery from the batching plants is checked on consistency. An independent control agency with an on-site laboratory controlled the quality of all processed concrete. In the meantime, foundations for the workshop building have started. The workshop consists of a two-floors office space and a large workshop area for the maintenance of the shuttle carriers and other equipment. Several layers are superposed to a combined thickness of 50 or 80 cm solid cement treated base and finished with an asphalt or pavement layer, depending on the intensity of the traffic load. The container stacking areas are finished with a double asphalt layer. The asphalt mix is specifically designed to withstand the loads of containers stacked 5 levels high. 
Other areas are finished with concrete pavement blocks to endure the heavy dynamic traffic loads of the container. At the K side, the STS rail beam is connected to the top of the drilled foundation piles. This beam has a length of 1200 meter and a section of 2 by 2 meter. 20 linear meter of beam is being poured every two days. The last row of each of the three container stacking sections is designed for refrigerated container storage. Power to feel the cooling unit is needed at each container stacking position and needs to be accessible for any operator. The power is supplied from three dedicated reefer substations and diverted to a feeder pillar at each of these 51 reefer racks constructions. On section 1, the first high technology container stacking cranes are mounted on the top of the mounted rail. The terminal construction activities were planned to guarantee the acceptance and installation of the different batches of equipment by a PMT. The whole project was split into over 40 intermediate milestones for a step by step handover to a PMT. In February 2018, the first shipment of STS cranes arrives from China. Except the container stacking areas, the entire terminal is finished with concrete pavement blocks. A total of about 20 million blocks were needed. Several teams were shifting 24-7 for an optimal productivity. All construction activities were set out and controlled by highly qualified surveyors. The project is well advanced with large areas handed over to APMT. The workshop building is also finished. The shuttles transport containers between the K area and the stacking zones. For a precise orientation of these shuttles, a grid of 730,000 magnets was installed in the concrete pavement blocks. Willemann deployed a survey rowboat for fast and precise indication of the needed drilling for these magnets. All electric works were also part of Willemann's group scope. An extensive double fiber optic network was installed to connect the control rooms to each individual equipment item on the terminal. All cranes, cameras, gates, power stations, auxiliary installations are monitored through this nerve like network. To guide the traffic in the operational terminal, over 30 km of markings were painted in the pavement. In total, nine substations have been constructed. One main intake substation for the external power supply, three K substations to provide power to the cranes and other installations on the container yard. To guarantee a supply of water in a case of emergency, a water tank was installed. 
five water pumping stations were equipped with an electric pump and a backup diesel pump to ensure sufficient flow and pressure to feed the 90 hydrants over the side. A team of 60 motivated engineers and administration staff members were coordinating over 600 workers on this project by preparing and controlling string and safe working methods according to the project schedule. The APMT terminal at Tangier opened less than two years after the first construction activities. Willemann Group is proud and privileged to have delivered this world-class project to APMT within the projected time frame and budget. A combined effort of 3 million man-hours were dedicated to this multidisciplinary project within any serious injury. The terminal will have an annual capacity of 5 million tons and will serve as a transshipment hub for Merskline and its partners. Tengye is conveniently located at the Strait of Gibraltar, where 60,000 cargo vessels pass through each year.